Hey everyone, it's Kimberly <clears throat> and I am back with a Goodwill thrift haul. If you're new here, I am. I dream a lot on eBay, Poshmark, obviously YouTube and Etsy-ish. <laughs> I do have an Etsy shop and I have some listings, um, but I haven't totally neglected Etsy for several months. So that is a goal by the end of the end of the year to decide what I'm going to do with Etsy, if I'm going to stay on Etsy or if I'm just going, oh, I can't even say it because when I first started reselling in, gosh, I mean, I used to resell stuff on Craigslist. Like that was so long ago. Um, but when I started selling vintage items back in, I think that was, yeah, that was before I started school. So like 2000, when did Etsy start? Whenever Etsy first started, that's when I opened my Etsy shop. And back then we used to um, model, <laughs> model <laughs> the clothes. And that's kind of what the Etsy buyer expected. Um, I feel like nowadays that would be like frowned upon or something. I don't know. Do they still do that on Etsy? But back then it was modeling your clothes. So I had like a digital camera and I would like set it up somehow like on a shelf or whatever. And it did have a timer. <laughs> Excuse me. I would like hit the timer and then run back and do my little poses and I would I mean, I would take several pictures, like not just one. Yeah. Anyway, I think what I would do is I would take like maybe a couple of pictures for each item and then I would do like flat lays or have it hanging on a hanger or whatever. But people expected to see the item on and maybe that's because it was just strictly vintage, which it's still vintage or handmade, um, like small business but um they wanted to see how it fit anyway that, that i just went down a rabbit hole but that was one thing on etsy and then the other thing was your um sorry i keep looking at my laptop hoping that a video is not gonna like a randomly start i mean it'd be a reselling video um but uh the titles for your etsy shop um were like super creative. Like I was just recently looking at some of my old items cause you can go back and look. I mean, I can see what I sold in 2008, 2009, whatever it was. And it was like down by the seashore brass bookends cause they were like seashells, but yeah. So you would like do these really creative um, titles that no one would ever search down by the seaside. I don't know. Anyway, it was fun though. And I did sell stuff on there, but that was like, wow, I need to get back on track. Okay. So I'm going to decide if I'm going to keep Etsy, which I'm sure I will. Um, but I'm just going to kind of, um, pare it down so that I just have really, really just great vintage items. Um, Cause I think I just kind of have some just, just not great items and yeah. So anyway, I am in West Virginia. I'm a part-time reseller and I sell mostly bread and butter items on eBay and Poshmark. I don't have access to a lot of uh, higher end um, items or luxury brands because I'm in West Virginia. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about how to sell on eBay and Poshmark and what sells in terms of just your average kind of brands, including like some target brands, um, then this is a channel that maybe you want to watch. So let's just jump into it. As you know, I cannot see anything. Like I literally can't even see me. I mean, I can see me on the screen right now, the, the phone screen, but I can't make anything out, but I put on my glasses and oh, okay. So I thrifted yesterday. I'm on restriction from thrifting. So I did not go. Yes. I mean, I went Friday after work for an hour. I didn't go yesterday. That was so hard. Like, oh, but 
I am determined to get everything listed over the next week, get organized. Next weekend, I'm gonna focus on organization because my stuff is everywhere. I have tons of stuff not in bins because I have no bins, so I need to get some bins. I've just been, whatever, delaying that. I work full time. So when I get home and you know take care of the dogs and do the things I need to do, it's just, you know, not enough time. And I love reselling. Like, I'm not going to give it up. Like, I love it. I love thrifting. I, I just love it. And whenever I retire from my career, I love my career. I, I, I just love it. Um, but <laughs> whenever I retire, I'm going to be a freaking full-time reseller. So yeah. All right, let's jump into it. Okay. Oh my God, could you imagine if this wasn't recording? But it is. And I just did a six minute intro. Like, fast forward me. <laughs> All right, the first item I'm gonna talk about is a vintage pair, like Y2K um, LEI. I like selling vintage LEI. We all remember these jeans. These are the Ashley low rise slim boot in a size 11. So it's junior sizing. And it's just what it says a pair of um, bootleg jeans, but the nice, nice pockets. These are in excellent condition, nothing wrong with them at all. Um, I mean, they do have like, kind of, you know, the worn out hems but people don't care about that you as long as you, I mean you have to note it and you take pictures of it but uh, it's not going to take away from um, from the selling price I'm just checking yeah no these are in great condition and um, of course I'm not prepared and I don't remember what the comps were but they were decent enough for me to grab those because I'm, you guys, I'm doing really good. Remember, my goal is to only buy items that will sell for $30 or more. I'm doing pretty good. And yeah, so this is a pair of plus size jeans. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I hate saying stuff wrong. <laughs> Uh, V-I-G-O-S-S, -S. like, is it Vigos? Is it Vigos? Is it, I feel like it's, or is it Vigos? <laughs> anyway, you guys have seen this brand. It's not like a super exciting brand, but it kind of has, you know, it totally has the Miss Me jeans vibe. And the reason I bought these is because they're a plus size. They're a size, uh-oh, where's the size? I know they're, where's the size? They're called the New York Capri. Oh, here, it's like in the waistband, size 22, and they're a Capri length. So you see that it has, it's nice, it has the waist size, um, not the waist size, the regular size 22. And then the length is 21 inches, but I'll provide all the measurements. I'll measure the waist, I'll measure uh, the rise, and then the inseam, which they're saying it's 21 inches and it looks like it's 21 inches. So yeah, and I should get at least $30 for those. I did, I, I remember that comp. All right, another pair of jeans. These are American Eagle. These are super cute. Um, very, you know, like that 70s vibe. Um, the Oh, I didn't notice this. I don't like buying jeans when the back label there is messed up. And that's really messed up. But whatever I bought them they're a nice bootleg cut um, they have some manufactured distressing and these are called the vintage flare they are oh this is faded they're a size four and they're a size four short and there's the back 
Um, so everything is good on these except that back label. Yeah, I don't like that. But we'll just see what we can get. You know what? I think I bought these for me to try on. Yeah, I think. But anyway, I'll try them on and I might like them. I might keep them. But if not, I'll probably only get $15 or $20 for those because they're just not in great condition with that back um, tag like that. Yeah. All right. And this was another pair of jeans for me to try on. These are just white skinny jeans, um, American Eagle, and they are the curvy high rise jegging and they're in excellent condition. Um, yeah, those are super skinny. I wanted a pair of like nice white straight leg jeans for work um i like wearing nice white jeans to work like during the spring and summer with like a cute um just like little blazer or something and you know just i don't know whatever i'm just thinking out loud here i'll try those on they might be just super super like tight but so another 15 or 20 dollar item if i don't keep those all right enough of <laughs> me okay this is just dress barn um it's made in usa so it's probably like from the early 2000s it's a size 1x is that a paper tag i think so so it's i mean it's vintage um yeah it's probably from the 90s with that square neckline that was very 90s it has a three-quarter sleeve but it's really pretty. It's fully lined. It's in pristine condition. It's that really nice, um, like pumpkin color. So I thought with fall coming, this would be really nice. And it's a longer, kind of a longer length. Like I would describe that as a tunic probably. Um, but yeah, it's just this really nice, um, like kind of like, I don't know. Can you see that? What do you call it? It's kind of like an eyelet cotton kind of, but yeah, it's really nice. So I will definitely get 25 for that. Not quite 30, but I will list it for $34.99 or best offer. This is a plus size. This is, I think a three X. Let's see. Yeah, it's three X. I didn't even look up comps. I don't know if this is anything. It's natural natural reflections I will look that up but there I just bought this this was just style based um it's just a long line cardigan sleeveless but it has fringe at the bottom it's very just that you know Aztec kind of pattern southwestern boho um yeah you know very montana yellowstone yeah so that will definitely go for at least 25 i will list it for probably 39.99 or best offer and i imagine it will go for 25 or 30. Next is Chico's. I love selling Chico's. This is a Chico size three. And I love selling the um, larger sizes in Chico. So I love selling a size three. This is gorgeous. It is in pristine condition. It's this black um, sleeveless top. It has all this like gold beading, but it's not like a bright gold. Um, it's just kind of a barely gold <laughs> and it has like this mesh overlay and then the back is just like that mesh but it's lined the top is fully lined so it's not going to be you know see-through um yeah super nice so that will get at least 25 or 30 
I will list it for $39.99, our best offer. This was probably $80 in at Chico's. And it looks like it's never been worn. It's in pristine condition. Um, oh, this was a good little find. This is um, Lafayette 148. So there's the tag. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And it's a size. It's a, where's my size? believe it's a large let me see it's a skirt it's really pretty it's a 1x so um how does that okay yeah that's like the inside okay just trying to get this because it has like that ribbon um just trying to hold it so that the waist so it's just this green, really pretty green knit, midi length, um, pleated skirt. See that? Really pretty. I have not looked up comps. I imagine at least $30. It could go for more. I will have to check. So that's an example of that was random. Like, at my Goodwills, I'm not finding Lafayette 148, which a lot of resellers, oh, I just ripped my earring out. Um, there it goes. <sighs> Never a dull moment. Um, a lot of resellers might have passed on that. They don't think Lafayette 148 is a big deal. They see it all the time in their stores. I think it's mainly just sold at Nordstrom. Um, but in West Virginia, finding that was kind of like, oh, whoa. And it was in perfect condition and it was a larger size. So yeah, I'm definitely picking that up. If it was a size small, yeah, I probably would have still picked it up. Who am I kidding? All right. I have not looked uh, this brand up yet. I don't know if it's just a little boutique -y brand. It could be a um, anthropology brand. I don't know, but it's cloth and portrait. There's the tag. It's a size XL. And you guys will see why I picked this up. It's just a really pretty, um, like boho, like peasant y kind of top. Um, beige, really pretty, just. Um, kind of like three quarter sleeves almost, um, a little elastic at the cuff. Um, yeah, just some nice, like kind of like crochet kind of detail and in pristine condition lined and it's just cotton. I don't, it's not like linen or anything. Um, where's the tag? Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, 100% rayon, and then the uh, lining, or the lace, is cotton, nylon, and rayon, so, yeah, very nice, um, there is a style number, so, yeah, so I'll do a little research on that, but I figure with the style and the size, that will definitely go for 25 or 30 all right, this was a good find. This is Levi's, and this is a men's size small. And it's just a sleeveless denim vest, which is on trend. Um, a lot of people actively searching for um, vests, and it kind of has like a raw edge. And yeah, I will definitely get at least $30 probably start it at $49.99, our best offer, um, and go from there. This, of course, I, I love this color. Um, this is just simply Southern. It's a size large, long sleeve t-shirt. You guys know I love my long sleeve t-shirts. Look how cute the back is. Look at that, the moon and so cute. So I don't know, that might be 15 or $20. And you know, 
I will keep it if it doesn't sell. <laughs> I didn't even look up a comp because I just figured it was a couple dollars and I figured, you know, if it doesn't sell, that's something I would, I would keep. This is just a little hooded um, top. It's just Aria, Aria, Aria. Um, there's the Aria. I say Aria. Some people say Air. I don't know. I say Aria. And it's in perfect condition. It's just purple. It's long sleeve. Um, has that just little hood. And it was a size, it's the Heat Series, and it's a size medium. There's like, it's in perfect condition. And again, this was also half off. Um, there's the, here's the back. It has that area tuck. Um, I didn't look up comps. It was only $2. I imagine at least 20 but it could go for more. I will check. This is J. Jill. It's a size medium. It's this long um, top, like a tunic length top, and it has pockets. Cute, yeah, cute little pockets at the hips. I don't think that's a dress. No, it can't be a dress. It's just a little tunic that you'd wear like over leggings, like in the winter time. Here's the label. I imagine that should go for about 25 so not quite my 30 but it was in perfect condition um, and I just thought the style was cute and that would be cute for fall coming up so I think I should be able to get 25 this um, oh my nose is itching this was why did I get this okay it's a paper tag I think it's like from the 90s. It's cotton and poly, <sighs> assembled in Mexico, of US made components. Oh yeah, this was um, like a Christian um, t-shirt with a cool graphic. I need to wash it though, there's a stain. So there's the graphic. I thought that was so cool. I think I might be able to get like $50 if I can get that stain out because the stain is really gross. Um, God exalted him to the highest place. Yeah, this is, oh, this is so cool. I hope I can get this stain out. Look at the stain right there. I mean, it'll still sell even if the stain is still kind of there once I stain treat it, but and it's a size large. So yeah, we I'll keep you updated on that. These were all from the mission. This is just a 2XL Friday the 13th. I, this is nothing. I just, um, I think it was buy one, get one free or something. And there wasn't much there. So yeah, that might be just a $15 item. These are just a pair of Dansko, which I used to get excited about these, um, but they just, and they're just plain black. So they'll probably only go for about 25. They are a, they're a size 36 wide and they do have some wear on the toe, toes. So, but the soles and everything look good and the insides look good. They're nice and clean. Um, and I did the like bending and that whole thing because you want to make sure there's no like dry rot. Like if they're super old and they've just been sitting in someone's closet. But they seem good. So, I mean, those, those are super expensive and nurses like to wear those. So... I think I'll definitely get 25 for those. Um, this is cute. This is just a little spiritual gangster tank top. And it's a size large. And yeah, nothing much to say about that. I just figured 
um, that I would keep that. Um, yeah, I probably won't even sell it. I don't think it's worth it, but I'll look at the comps. It's in perfect condition, um, but we're heading out of summer, so I don't know. We'll see. And then these were a pair of vintage American Eagle outfitters. <laughs> They're really old. They're the cargo, what do they call this? Cargo khakis. They are a size 10, made in Hong Kong, 100% cotton. Look at that tag. It's so old. I think this might even be from the 80s. I don't know. I'll do a little research. Um, but yeah, they're just a pair of like cargo pants. And this is on trend right now. The cute girls, you know, young girls, teenagers are wearing these baggy um, cargo pants with like little crop you know, shirts and t-shirts and even like baggy t-shirts, big oversized stuff. It just kind of depends on the look they want. Um, yeah, and it has like a button, button fly and then like a little Velcro right there. Yeah, so I hope those, you know what, you guys, these might be a 10, no, there's no way that could be a 10 for a kid. Wait a minute, let's see. No, 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 because that's, that waist is, yeah, I mean, it's probably more like a modern, like, eight, because they're just a little big, um, but yeah, I'll do all the measurements, and I will definitely be listing those high, probably $59.99, um, and I expect they'll go for at least 30 to 40 and then I got a pair of vintage, well, no, I don't know if these are vintage. They're just Levi's 550. I, I wanna learn my Levi's. Um, I think that's gonna be a goal for me. These are like on a paper tag though, 100% cotton, assembled in Mexico, 550, relaxed fit. Um, and that's it, that's the only tag. That's, let me show you the tag. So they're definitely vintage. I just don't know how vintage. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're in decent condition. And I bought them because they were like a dollar at my little thrift store. And I want to learn more Levi's. Like everybody knows like vintage 501s, but um, yeah, so I don't know how much those will go for. I have to, um, do some investigating. All right. Oh, I just got this little, um, this is just a little, um, travel, like, jewelry box. Um, so I always need stuff like that for when I travel. So, yeah, that was just $3. That was for me. Um, these are some items that I got at some point and I never hauled them. These are men's, um, J brand. These are the Walker. And there's that. I normally don't get J brand, but for men's jeans, I think these will definitely go for 25. These are a size 36. Yeah, so those are a nice pair of jeans. I mean, J brand are not cheap. These were definitely over a hundred dollars. So I'm not sure what I, what they are selling for, but I imagine somewhere around twenty five. This, you guys, I have a couple vintage um, like denim dresses that I just have not been able to sell. And one of them is super nice. It's L.L. Bean, vintage, probably from the 90s. Has pockets, buttons all the way up. Um, long sleeve, has like a cute like Peter Pan collar. It's very nice and it has not sold. I've had it for like two years and I don't know what is going on. So here is another vintage denim dress, size small, 100% cotton. It's the Vermont Country Store, and those have a good sell-through rate. 
and it's this one sleeveless and it has like the little buttons, the little pleat detail, and you know, it's a long maxi dress, um, has, you know, the pockets, the slash pockets. So like a little pinafer like style. And it has the back, like waist tie in the back. And that should go for $30, no problem. But I haven't been having luck with kind of the denim, like modest um, style maxi dresses. I did go in and, and kind of revamp, revise um, the few listings that I have um, with those types of dresses. And let's see how, how, it, how they do. This is just a little linen um, blouse. It buttons up. It has kind of these little short sleeves, little like, um, I don't know, like puckered, I don't know. And then they, it buttons on the sleeve. Um, and it's kind of like a Kind of like a boxy cut it's definitely not a longer length almost like cropped and the brand is nature chic and this is a size small 100% linen i don't know anything about this brand let me see if i can the tag's kind of hard to it's like, you see what I mean? It's like hard to see, but, and then there's that. So, yeah, so I need to look that up and um, it's definitely like a women's small. I mean, it's, it's oversized. So I'd use like coastal grandma, beachy, lagging look, those types of keywords on that. This is Maggie Barnes and it's a 5X. Now this stuff has 100% sell through rate. If you find Maggie Barnes um, in the like two, three, four, five X, especially the four and five X, it's like 100% sell through rate. But this is a little um, like animal print, little um, jacket with like, a kimono style sleeve um, yeah so this will go for between 30 and 40 and it's in perfect condition very nice this is like a little experiment this is a very what caught my attention is um, as I was kind of like just going through stuff quickly it felt high quality and I thought, oh, is that Ralph, Lor Ralph Lauren? I was about to say Ralph Lauren. <laughs> um, but then I saw this, so the little apple symbol or um, branding, not symbol, what am I, oh my gosh, tip of the tongue syndrome. I mean, you could say symbol, but that's not the word I'm looking for branding not symbol oh my gosh logo <laughs> aye, aye, aye. so it's a hundred percent cotton and on the tag it does have apple so it wasn't like apple or someone who worked at apple or purchased it and then had that embroidered on there it's i mean the label on the shirts reads apple so i don't know i am going it's a size medium there's nothing wrong with it it's just a long sleeve red t-shirt it's obviously a women's medium pretty sure um yeah so i'll just kind of see what these go for but i know some um apple uh clothing does pretty well so if you find something that's apple definitely take a look do a quick comp um 
this is just the limited, but it's a 2X. And the best part about this and why I picked it up is because it's a wrap dress. It's short sleeve, so I gotta get this listed. Um, it's too hard, you guys, for me to like do the whole thing, but it has some like ruffle um, detail there. You see that? It's I think it's navy blue, not black. Um, I'll double check that, but yeah, just a true wrap dress, like a um, knee or midi length, and that will definitely get at least thirty. This is again Chico's. Now it's it's just Chico size one, and it's sheer, but it's a hundred percent silk and it's gorgeous. So I could see someone wearing this definitely as a beach cover up. So I'll use keywords just like that, like swim cover up, beach cover up. Um, Coastal Grandma, Vacation, Tropical, Cruise. And it has a very deep V uh, neckline. So, yeah, I was happy with that. And that was, again, only a couple of dollars. This is Susan Graver. It's a 1X. Susan Graver has a 100% sell-through rate. So, you guys got to be picking that stuff up. Um, and it's just a 1X, but it's in excellent condition. Again, this is like sheer. You'd want to wear like a cami underneath. It's red and white floral with um, like just navy blue like trim. Really pretty. Um, like tunic length blouse. Uh, popover blouse. Just has three buttons and kind of that mandarin style collar yeah so that'll definitely go for 25 or 30 but i i'm pretty sure it'll go for 30. this was so adorable it's just zara but it's a little um a little floral dress so and it has this open back it's so cute I don't know if this will go for anything, but I just couldn't leave it. And it was, it was not on sale. I was going to say it was on sale, but it wasn't. Was it linen? Is that why? Was that my like ultimate deciding factor? It feels like linen. Let's see. Um, there's an extra button. That's nice. <laughs> yes, it's linen. Ay, ay, ay. I can't see. It's linen and cotton. Yeah. Um, so very cute. What size did I say it was? Um, it's a medium, so not too small. So there's that. And it's linen and cotton. I'm going to look it up. Who knows? It could be like a blogger favorite. You never know. I doubt it. Um, oh, and it has a side, side zip. So that's good. Very nice. I think this will definitely get at least 25, um, but I may sit on it for a while. It's so cute. Oh, I may try that on. <laughs> California trip, you know. Um, what's this? What's this? This I washed. I think I already hauled this. It's just a black um, blouse, size large. Um... And I keep forgetting to look. Yeah, I already hauled that. We're not doing that. Okay, this is vintage um, No Boundaries, which you know is just at Walmart. But these are like Y2K little shorts. Um, you guys, why did I get these? They're a size 11. They were on sale, so they were a couple bucks, but still... I mean, we're going out of summer and I'm over here. I don't know. I might get $15 for those. That I don't know why I bought that. This I may have already hauled. It's the North Face. I can't remember. I washed it. There was like some like deodorant, deodorant marks. Um, it came out perfect. It's just a little like racer back 
um, dress, has pockets. It's like a knee length, um, just North Face black dress. And that should go for 25. This I had bought for myself um, just to wear like around the house. It gets so hot in West Virginia and humid. Um, but I just didn't, it has ruffles. I, I just, I'm not a ruffle person. Um, ocean drive size medium. It's just a little like sundress. I don't know. It's probably a $10 item. <laughs> um, this is good. This is hanky panky. This is a vintage 90s Y2K little black velvet um, cami tank top. Perfect condition. Already washed. That will go for 20 Here's another one of these. Oh no, that's not it. This is Denim and Company, which is, I forget what their sell-through rate is. It's not like Susan Graber where it's 100% sell-through rate, but this is a 2X. It is made in Hong Kong. It's vintage. 100% um, cotton and look so cute. Denim, little um, like jacket, not jacket, top with the little, um, you know, very like kind of Asian inspired look. What do you call those? They're almost like little like toggles, but, oh, wait, can you, are these? Oh, you guys, you, yeah, you can, um, they're functional. I thought it was just like detail, but I, I'm not about to, I think somebody would just probably slip that over. But yeah, they are functional. They're like buttons. Um, does it have pockets? No. But yeah, I will definitely get at least $30 for that. This was a pretty blouse. I don't know if I'll get my 30, but I have to comp this. Um, the tag is like halfway, <laughs> it came unstitched. Um, it's that pole, P-O-L. Um, which I can't remember if this is just like Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack or Anthropology. I can't remember, but it's a size large and it is so pretty. It has like the velvet. Look at how pretty that is. Look at the sleeves. So pretty. Yeah. It's like this really pretty um, like peachy beige with like the blue and white flowers. Oh, it's so pretty. Nothing wrong with it, no flaws. Um, it's just polyester, but yeah, I think I can get $30 for that because of the, the velvet, it's a size large and it's in very good condition, but definitely at least 25 but I will shoot for 30. All right, what do we have here? Okay, here's another one of those dresses, like the kind of pinafore, jumper, apron style dresses. And this is Denim and Company, and it's a 2X. So, and it's, you know, it has like the front pockets, maxi length, it has two slits in the back, two slits in the back. So again, the, this should sell. I mean, the data is there and I don't know. I've been having a problem selling these. So, all right, this, I think I just have a couple items left and these are items that I've had in my inventory that have not been listed for two years. This is just Lane Bryant, but it's a size 26. Really pretty um, floral dress with like these flutter sleeves. It's lined. Um, 
it's like midi length it has the waist tie um the front is that crossover neckline like the kind of faux wrap it is so pretty I need to get that listed because that is definitely a $30 item. And then the last two are um, tops, Lane Bryant size, I think they're 22, um, 1820. And I have a green one, that's the back, and then the front, three quarter sleeve, just a little you know, nice little kind of jersey knit um, tops. And I have blue and green. They've been sitting in my inventory unlisted for a couple years. So that is it. I just wanted to let you know, remember this dress? <laughs> oh my goodness. I showed this in a haul a couple weeks ago. I got all those stains out except... There's a couple, I'm not gonna point them out, but um, pretty much got all the stains out. The couple of stains that didn't come out are super, super faint. And um, <laughs> that's for my thumbnail. Um, it's, the stains that are still there are very hard to see. They're, you can see them when you take a picture or like if I were to show you on camera, you can see, but just looking at it with the naked eye, they're very hard to see. Um, someone will still purchase this and this will go for at least $30. I will start it at probably $59.99. It's, it's a beautiful fabric, all that handwork, that detail, um, stitch work that went into this is, yeah. And it has pockets as well, so. I'm excited about that, and then, um, whoops, yeah, <laughs> remember I had a couple L.L. Bean jackets, I washed them, this turned out gorgeous, I mean, there's just not a flaw on this thing, that is going to go for at least $60, no problem, that will sell probably pretty pretty fast. We're going into fall. So yeah, that was great. And then the other LL Bean was kind of like a shacket, <laughs> very heavy, heavy, um, snap front, um, red shirt with like the, the plaid cotton lining. Um, that had a lot of a lot of stains and like all these like white spots like almost like sun fading or I don't know most all most everything came out all that's left is a few of those little like sun bleach spots on the back of the shoulder in one area someone who's buying this is probably a farmer or a rancher they're not going to care about that i mean the quality is amazing and this will also sell between 40 and 60. probably around 40. i don't know i gotta do comps again i'm not sure but it's vintage both of these are vintage um oh and i also bought this this pretty little um women's button up top i it's just hanging because I just washed it, but uh, I might try that on for work. If not, I'll sell it and I'm sure it'll get me at least 20 bucks. But um, I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching.